So I'll come to the cupboard. It's cooking and I said we will eat the new juice. Okay, so now I'm doing what we call the name of this dish is chickpeas curry or chickpeas coconut curry. Yeah? So my pot is here. Let's get it on. In this pot I'm gonna put some olive oil in it. Some already I just put a little more. So this is olive oil and then I'm gonna put with this one now I will add some cumin seed. So this is the cumin seed I will add this. A little bit more, about that amount. Alright, next up, I think I put a little bit more oil in it just to make sure I have enough. Next up will be onion. So I'm Next up will be onion. Guys, I'm using one hand, so alright. Uh, give that a mix. So this is a quick, easy dish. Turn up the flame a little bit. So I add my onion and just let that simmer for a while. So let that. Go ahead and cook. Then I will be adding, as soon as that um, cook, then I will be adding my coconut milk. And after coconut milk, chickpeas, salt and black pepper to taste, and let that simmer. Actually, I need to add my curry, so I'm going to add my curry, so this is my curry here, so my curry, so I'm going to add the curry now, let that burn a bit, curry added, give that a mix, Okay, I have it on medium, so I'm not going to turn it up that much. Let us simmer for a while, and I'm going to get the coconut milk after. Let's turn up the flame a bit. Let us simmer. So this is an easy uh, meal. There's a lot of onion I put in it, but with the, um, I'm going to put two containers of coconut milk. I'm gonna put uh, one, I think it's 400 gram of um, chickpeas. So when you look at this, to the amount I'm gonna put in, it all, it all will add up. So for sure, you're not gonna look that much. So yeah, so don't let the curry burn that much. Turn down the flame a bit. Okay, let's start off by the curry. From bird for the coconut milk. So I have the coconut, this is 400 ml, and I'm putting 400 in there. So I add your coconut milk. So that is done. And the next big thing is coming is the chickpeas, yeah? The chickpeas will take up a lot. You can see how that looks nice. Coconut milk is always nice, and you can add salt and pepper to taste. So the next thing is to get the chickpeas in. I'm gonna pour that in. There's a lot of water come with it. I hope it don't overflow. But I need the water also because it's gonna cook right up. So see, chickpeas is done. And now I'm gonna put salt and pepper. And that will be it. Thank you. And that will be it. Um, yeah, so this is gonna cook down. I'm gonna turn up the heat to high and let this simmer for about half an hour because I need to reduce all this here. Yeah? So the only thing you have left to add to this is salt and pepper. And this will taste so nice it will be a bit 
creamy also. And you can serve this with, you can have it with rice or non bread. Some roast parsley if you have. You can have that on the side with some fresh salad. Or if you have things like what we call roti, chapata, all these things, you can have it with it. As when it reduces, it's going to become creamy because of the coconut milk that is in it. So you add a little salt and a little black pepper. And when that reduces, I will show you the result of it. So I'll continue to bubble. And I say you will eat lemon juice. So, guys, you can see it had been reduced a lot, and now maybe just a little bit more because I needed to have sauce in it. So, when I serve it with the different with rice and stuff, so this is how it, it looks. And it can be garnished with parsley, coriander or parsley, you can garnish with that. So right here we have the finishing touch of the curry chickpea serving non bread, wild rice and salad. There you go. Enjoy guys, get your chair and start to eat.